is behind us is Yaoundé, Cameroon, and we have all day to explore the city and eat all the food that we can. So let's go see what it's all about. So for some reason, there's really not a lot of options in terms of like guided tours um, here in Yaoundé. We're talking about like a food tour in Yaoundé itself. Even like city tours, not sure. a lot of different companies or anything like that. So yesterday we used a taxi drivers and I asked him like, hey, tomorrow, are you available to like give us a city tour? And he said, yes. So I don't know what is, uh, you know, tour qualifications are, probably none, but he's from here. So... It's Let's as go. good as it's gonna be. Good afternoon, yeah. Alex. Afternoon. Oh yeah, I guess it is afternoon, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Since the last three minutes. Yeah, there you go. So our first stop is going to be the Briqueterie. It's basically a street where they sell a grilled meat that they call soya or 50-50. It's the most popular here in Yaoundé, so it's going to be a great place to start. Excited? Yeah. <laughs> Hungry too. How are you? How are you? Do you want any? It's on me, man. <laughs> Fresh one, right off the grill. It's really hot. So this one is beef. That's really good. So basically, you come here, you just grab whatever you want, you keep the sticks, and you pay at the end. So this is just extra spice to put on it. So you just sprinkle it on it. You can pay this. So a little bit of mix of all the different spices. I'm a fan. I put way too much pepper on it though. A little spicy. But yeah, that's good. Okay, last one, this is liver. Beef liver, rich in iron, it's good to you. Very like organ meat has like a particular taste, but it's not bad at all. I rarely ever eat liver, like even at home, but I guess I have to try it. It's actually pretty nice. Yeah, okay. Keep the stick. Yeah, so I'm gonna try one with the three different spices. Dave loaded it up. I'm it's not, not too spicy. Okay. True. At first, I was a little worried because it hit me a little bit at first, but no, you're right. Now to pay, I just have to count how many I ate. Yes. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. We ate 36, but just to make the math easier, we're gonna eat four more. That one was hot. <laughs> I was like, that was straight off the ground. I get the point. <laughs> Last bite, best bite. <laughs> Thank you so much, delicious. So the skewers are like, they just keep coming at the grill, but they actually make it across the street where there's like a little butchery and some people putting the meat on the sticks. C'est beaucoup de viande, hein? Why, why, why? C'est très bon. So that was soya or 50-50. Um, that was all beef that we ate, but they sometimes have like other cans of meat like goat. And the reason why it's called 50-50, it's because it's 50 franc for every skewer that you eat. Um, we ate 40 of them, so 2,000 franc, which is a fair deal for the amount of food that we have for three people. Wham, not good. Wham, not good. <laughs> Next stop, Chinga Art Market, which is like a local artisan that sell things. That sounds Hi, how are you? <laughs> Avec le plantain, oui. parfait. Et voilà. Hold this. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Okay. Thank you. Il faut goûter. Si c'est bon, tu me dis. Certain. Tracy just got a nice little bracelet yep. that I negotiated at an insane price. At first, he wanted five thousand. I got twenty five hundred. But the only reason why I wanted to give him that is because he had food, and I really wanted to try his typical food too. So we'll try that in the car. No, je veux vous laisser à votre plus parce que sur cent personnes, un qui promet sa parole. So the shop owner basically was saying that because he's shop number one, everyone comes in his shop, but nobody buys because everyone wants to see all the other shop and they tends to buy towards the end but I told him don't worry I'll come back to your shop to buy something so he was very appreciative and he even gave me this little uh, keychain okay you just open the peelings yeah, and what is it plantain right yeah no it's a uh, pistache 
no idea. It smells like very peanutty. It's like a peanut paste or something. I have no idea what that is. Okay, let's be honest. It doesn't look particularly good. It's actually pretty nice. It's actually pretty good. But like, it really looks like somebody already ate it and then put it. I'm not gonna think about that. I'm told I can't not try it. This is why we travel for experiences. You gotta, you gotta <laughs> no, try it. Should I just put it in your mouth? <laughs> Sorry. It's very like nutty and it kind of tastes a little bit like chocolate. It just, the texture feels like somebody already ate it before okay, you. Okay, well, don't say that. But when you eat it, do you know what it tastes like? Peanut butter and jam, crunch peanut butter, mix it all together. It's very nice though. <laughs> That's what it tastes like. Now we're going on top of Mount Fibby. <laughs> Fibby. <laughs> to see the nice Fibby. <laughs> just to go see the view of the city. Tracy's working on our French. <laughs> So welcome on top of Mont Fibi, or like Tracy like to call it, Mont Fibi. It is just over 1,000 meters uh, above sea level and it just gives you an amazing view um, of Yaoundé. And it's actually one of the hill that gives um, Yaoundé's name, which is Vélo Seven, uh, Vélo Set Colin, or the city with seven uh, mountain, seven hills. Yeah, the city of seven hills. One, two, three, say Yaoundé. <laughs> Great view, I like it. Yeah. I saw all of Yaoundé now. Okay, let's say like apart from 50-50, uh -huh. what's your favorite street food? Like what is the best thing? Oh, the palm wine. Palm wine? Yeah. Oh, what's that? That's something we've never had. Can we find it? Yeah, I think somewhere they will find somewhere around this. Perfect. Yeah. Alex says that his favorite it. thing is <laughs> drinking palm wine. I have so, heard of it. I've, I've heard, heard, heard of it, it. never yeah. had it, happy to have it. So we found the palm wine shop and apparently the owner knows Alex, so that's how often he comes here. Palm wine. Bonjour. Alex told us that his favorite drink was palm wine and it's best here. Uh -huh. So we're here to try. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Cheers. Oh yeah, it's very sour. Yeah. It's similar. I had like a, a beer like that in Ethiopia. Oh really? But this is better. Don't tell me. <laughs> <laughs> so what is this? This is corn from corn. Oh, so this is corn wine. Yeah. Yes, and then palm wine is good from Rafia. Ah, you tricked me. And I thought it was palm wine. Honest review. A little sour. To be honest, it's what I expected. It tastes like like a sour fermentation. If that makes sense. Yeah. So everyone drinks it, but nobody knows how strong it is. But it, nope. you wouldn't drink a full glass. Is a full glass too much? No. No, it's not too much. I can drink this thing. All of this, and you're fine. I'm fine. But if I drink two liters, that's <laughs> yeah. not good. No, we don't have you. No? Okay. You gotta build a tolerance. So she makes it, but nobody knows how strong it is. She says she can drink a lot of it, but you gotta build a tolerance over the years. What are we? This is gonna be enough for me today. They also have chicken under the counter, so let's have a taste. Can we appreciate how beautiful these plates are as well? It's very nice, it's like a tomato base. Very good. It's good. Very good. It's been like pouring rain like crazy for the last 15 minutes. We're just trying to like wait it out. It's slowly slowing down. One eternity later. So when we said it was going to slow down, it wasn't. This is 20 minutes later and it's still the most rain I have ever seen in my entire life. Chicken? The chicken was amazing too. <laughs> she was such a nice lady. It took about 30 something minutes for the rain to stop. And like across the street there, 
like the water was flowing so much there was a little boy trying to collect the rainwater for his house and it was raining so much that it was just not fast enough he was just putting the bucket like halfway sorry sorry halfway uh, in the stairs where the rain collects and by the time he would be back up in the stairs back to the middle of the stairs to get the bucket it would be overflowing like i haven't seen this much water in a very long time well alex that was a lot of water yeah <laughs> wow what's the name again acra beans acra beans so it's like a bean based fried pastry or something like that and we're kind of in the drive-thru right now <laughs> It's like savory pastry is like it's very nice. A little bit oily, but I like the taste. So the yellow taxis are basically the equivalent of like matatus uh, from Kenya, but here in Yaoundé, it's like the cheapest way, one of the cheapest ways to go around town, and they're like fairly available. Like you cannot look anywhere without seeing one of those yellow cabs. Up next, we are trying some grilled fish on the street. Alex is negotiating uh, the price of the fish right now. A cup is a Okay, We ordered some fish and you're to drink beer while you wait for your fish. So I haven't tried any of the local beer yet. That's what we're here to do. It's a local beer brewed here in Cameroon. The size of the bottles in Cameroon, like, they're not joking. <laughs> Very nice and refreshing, just like a long, light beer. Beers here are 650 milliliters. Just to give you an idea, in Canada, our normal beer is 330, so this is exactly two beers, basically. What Batum, is it? Batum is, uh, is made from fermented cassava. Cassava? Ah, okay. yeah. You know cassava? Yeah, yeah. I had cassava yeah. before. Mm -hmm. So you take cassava, you put it into water, yeah. it's been weeks, yeah. and then get fermented. So you remove it, you, you remove the stem, you wash it, and then you produce a, a batum. This doesn't taste much, but with the sauces, it's good. Put a little bit of that. Not too much because it's spicy. This one? No, this one. Yeah. That's good. But the fish is super good. Yeah, yeah. Like, it doesn't taste fishy or anything. It's nicely grilled. Alex, do you want any? No, no, no. Not shape. The fish had a lot of bone, but it was really, really nice. 3,500 for the fish, 800 for those like double size beer. It's a pretty good deal. Up next, we are at the Monument de la Réunification, and it was basically to celebrate the reunification, basically, of the French side of Cameroon and the British side of Cameroon. And it's a very, like, nice monument that you can actually, like, walk around and go all the way up. We're gonna do that right now. Very careful when you go down. The stairs kind of slant a little forward. Very easy to fall down. 
So while we were in the restaurant, there were some people like, passing around selling peanuts and they were giving like samples to everyone. It's just like very different because the peanuts here are basically not completely dried. So like they look white. They taste the same, but the texture is different as weird as it can sound. They're just like not roasted. Like, like they're just as if you were to pick yeah. them and eat them immediately. So these there are the famous bath and it's gonna become relevant in this video later, you'll see. I like there's one more thing you need to do though. Okay. You gotta subscribe to our YouTube channel. I will. Okay, <laughs> and then you do. Back to our hotel. But the video is not done because the bats again, remember the bats? And like big shout out to Alex, such a great guy, such a great sport. I mean, the guy's a driver, but today he was a tour guide, a food tour guide actually. So We're cool. gonna put all his information down below. If you, he said that if you would ever want to do a food tour here, call him. He'll do something similar than we did today with you. And we are now back where it all started this morning at the panoramic bar on top of the Hilton. And tonight we are here for some food, maybe some drinks, but especially for the bats. Yes, the bats, guys, the bats. So the Hilton, really cool spot to be. Um, cool ambiance, especially what you're gonna see later. Extremely cool. Um, the prices are probably the most steep prices I've seen at a hotel in a really long time. But we're gonna see if the food is good and we'll let you know. Just to give you an idea on prices, earlier we had um, 33 export beer. We paid 800 francs for it. But here, that was for a 600 and something mil too. Yes, here it's half the size and it is 4,000 francs. Just a little different. International hotel price here. You're paying for the location. But Very nice peanuts. view though. And the peanuts are delicious. These peanuts are so good. So while we are waiting for the bat, what would be one of our videos without some fun facts from Dave? Well, here are some fun facts. Um, Yaoundé was actually founded in 1888 by some German traders until the early 1900s when the French took over until 1960 where Cameroon got its independence. Um, there's about 2.8 million people living in Yaoundé and they love football, like soccer, football like nobody else like it is insane when we were like driving around the city today like we could see like some kids and like young adults like playing soccer and they were taking it like really seriously so one day i hope that i'll be able to like come here to their stadium to see a soccer game or football game um i i'm not a fan of sport but i feel like the ambiance is probably like unreal but kelly We've got our food, I got a club sandwich, Tracy got a spicy crispy chicken. Looks great. And it's like, you know, I, I've hated here before, like the first time I came to Yaoundé, and it's like, it's oh, it's fairly good. But like, my club sandwich was like 10,500, and we think Tracy was like 11,000. Or 12,000 so, even. <laughs> yeah. So it's very expensive. Huh. Good though. To be honest, my club sandwich was not as good as the first time. No? No. So now, the sun is slowly setting down on Yaoundé any minute now. Thousands of like giant bats, like they're actually like, like really big, um, are gonna like fly over, actually all over the hotel here on both sides as they're moving from like some trees on this side of the hotel to like a bigger forest on this side. And actually in the morning, they do like the opposite, uh, the opposite road back. Um, but yeah, like I'm telling you guys, like thousands, like if you're ever in Yaoundé, like it's worth coming here for supper and pay for a very, very overpriced and average club sandwich just to see the bats. It's like the best place in the city and one of the most popular attractions somehow. There's the first one right there. Now there's no joke, about 4,999 left. <laughs> Here are some more fun facts, but this time about bats, because these bats are not actually the bloodthirsty bats that you might think of. <laughs> so I was just trying to figure out like, why are there so many bats in Cameroon? I've never seen so many bats in one place. So it turns out, from what I can understand, it's part of their ecosystem. 
So the bats eat the fruit on the trees and then in their poop, there's basically like the seeds of the fruit. And then it kind of, when their poop drops, they make more trees. Therefore the cycle starts again. They're basically transport for, for, for seeds. Yeah. <laughs> They're moving the trees around. So they actually are important here in the ecosystem. Very important. Well, that was a great day exploring Yaoundé. So much better than what I expected because like we said this morning... Yeah, so Alex was absolutely fantastic. We'll put his number down below if you're in the area and need a driver. Or and a tour to help guide. You out. <laughs> because literally, like, there's not a lot of companies, like, doing yeah. tours. There's literally zero of them doing food tours. Yeah. So we kind of created our own food tours this morning. Yeah. And if you want to do it, just ask Alex. You want the Manny tour, I guess. It was fantastic because, like, he even came with us. And yeah, like, super cool. Super guy. great guy. Otherwise, Yande, great place. The yeah. weather was good almost all day, and then it yeah. rained more than I've ever seen before. Probably rained for almost an hour, like 45 yeah. minutes, I would say, like pure downpour. But we survived. Yep. Life was good. And otherwise, like, great interaction with a lot of good people here. Yeah. Great food, like surprised by the food. Like the, the story, skewers, yeah. guys, you get mm. to try the 50-50. Like that meat is just so, so that good. So we will good. still be on the lookout for Tracy's Puff Puff. <laughs> <laughs> Sadly, we couldn't find any, but uh, apparently you gotta be early for those. Tracy, what do you want now? Puff puff. Alex, can we find some puff puff? Puff puff. Tracy has been waiting for this moment all day. <laughs> she wants some sort of like fried dough. I think it's sweet. And it's called puff puff or French beignet. Yeah. And otherwise, like the, the Hilton, like the rooftop bar is amazing. Super yeah. cool, the view and everything. The food is very average. The prices are outrageous. But if you're like here in Yandé, once in your lifetime and you want to see the bat, it's still worth it. But it don't expect too much from the food. Yes. It's okay. <laughs> so anyway, great time. We have so many more cool things coming uh, here in Cameroon. Not in Yandé, but in other places. We're going to move around. And yeah, until next time, see you guys. In the next one. Still in Cameroon. <laughs>